Yo, welcome back. This is another Stu42 completely unplanned <laughs> episode of uh, my Series 3 um, Dial 20 server play. So as you can see, there's a couple of guys on at the moment. Um, they don't know I'm recording, so they'll probably <laughs> say a bunch of random stuff shortly. Um, okay, I posted a video uh, last time just recapping some of the stuff that I've done. Uh, this time I thought I'd continue on that and try and get this actually automated properly so this episode is going to be more of a uh, more of a playtime kind of episode I'm gonna need a bunch more cable uh, probably not this glass cable now that I know how the uh, how the cable actually works properly uh, it'll be the uh, what is it the the smart cable because uh, you can see you know what a uh, you can see the channels and stuff used on the side. Uh, so we'll have a look, a bit more of a visual look at how the channels actually work uh, by using that sort of cable. So, what do we need for the cable? Straight into it, by the way. <laughs> no uh, no long introductions or anything this time, just, just straight into it. So, covered cable, no. We want some smart cable. Fluix, probably that one which is just covered with red and glowstone, not a problem. Covered cable is just, oh, glass cable and some wool. So that's pretty easy to do. So if I grab my wool and I've got some black wool there as well, and I have some, no, I don't have any brown wool, but I do have some shears. So let's go and grab some extra wool. I have no idea how much I'm going to need. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sheep? I think that's what I used to have. That's alright. There's probably too many pigs there. Ah, that's alright. I notice sometimes the server gets a bit under load uh, when doing things like mobs, so I've had to remove a few of my chickens and other bits and pieces. Okay, so we need these. Black wool, we get some cover. And brown wool, we get some cover. And now we need to know how to make some more of the cable in the first place. So any one of these. Um, covered cable, glass cable. So any sort of fluix and quartz fiber. Quartz fiber made from ground up dust and some glass. So I did go and find some more nether quartz. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's do 12 of those. And we have our fantastic sag mill now. And then we need glass. So if we're doing 12 of those, we're going to need 24 of glass. So I'm not sure if we can use... Let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? So we're getting some of this done up. So once we get this cable, we're going to need some buses, I think. Uh, we're going to need some... Yeah, an import and an export bus. Potentially a couple of export buses to put dirt and... Yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Because we're going to need to put some stuff in the... in the generator. So we're going to need to put fuel in the generator, we're going to need to put uh, wood into here and grab the coke back out, or the charcoal back out. So what's that? That's going to be more... We're going to need the ME controller still, because we're not going to have enough channels otherwise. So, yeah, we're going to have one channel for there, two, three channels for here, Oh, we might get away with eight down this leg. Three, and then four, maybe, to put some stuff in there. And then five, 
and six for an import and export right on there. So yeah, six, that's all right. We can get away with six. And then, hopefully, everything will be well and truly up and running. Although we will probably need some sort of indicator or emitter to, to stop us from making too much stuff and overrunning with charcoal. Although you can never have too much charcoal, really. 15 of those. Let's see how many we get. Yep, so it is letting us make those. That's good. Now we're going to need more Fluix crystals. So how do we make the pure ones? We need a seed made from Fluix dust and sand. And growth accelerators, which we have over there. So I might try and use the pure ones because it, uh, it gives you a bit of a boost. So we need to grind up some of that. I might make another couple of those as well. So oh, we've already got redstone. We need Certus Quartz and Nether Quartz. So let's grab that and grab that. So from here, that's that. And this one is made from Charged Certus, which we can make in our little machine over here. So what I might do is... There's the machine there. We need to put something in the vibration chamber to have it work. Uh, contains charged. Cool. And let's do another couple. So it takes a little while to charge. That's not too bad. Or do I just need to go away? Uh, Go off and then on. No. You know, it does just take a while. Okay, so we have four of those. And we're going to need four of those and four of those. <clears throat> so let's just throw all of that in there. And we should get back eight. Excellent. And now over here, we have all of the stuff we needed. So once again, I'm sort of multitasking through a bunch of different things at the same time. Now we should be able to craft those and we get double out, so we get four of those. And what I might do is we'll get another four of those going. We'll throw two, three, four. They can sit in water. We've got plenty of charcoal now, so... Oh, that's right. We do need the cable to make sure this is charging. I'm just going to use the covered cable because that's what I've got in my inventory. And that'll make those run a bit faster. Now we can do the other four, which will give us a further eight. Try not to stand too close, I don't want to pick them all up. <clears throat> okay, so those there are working away. Now dense cable Fluix, that's what we're after. So we only get one... Oh no, that's dense cable. We don't want dense cable. We want the smart cable. Smart cable Fluix. Which is redstone and glowstone. So again, there's probably better ways of doing this. I know that there are P2P tunnels and all this sort of stuff. For now, this is going to be a fairly, probably not a very efficient way of doing this, but I really want to get it, <laughs> I really want to get it all working, so, 
So we need 12. Wow, we're actually going to need a lot of these crystals. And they're going to take a little while to grow. And that's still going. So let's put another one or two in there maybe. And then to look at our smart cable and see what it looks like. Yeah, so the line across the side I think can go up to, to eight channels. That's all we need there. And now we need export and import from this thing. I think we can just do an export and input on the same side. I think the stuff's... Back when they first came out, you had to sort of throw things into the top and suck things out of the bottom or the side. Uh, now I'm pretty sure you can just do like any side you want. So we need a... Not an interface, an import bus for a start. So we're going to need annihilation, some sticky pistons. Now I did have a couple of cores left over from last time. Where did I put them? Ah. I think I put them over here. There we go. Annihilation core. Oh, we've got some clear glass as well. Ah, uh, we've also got more Certus quartz that I didn't realize I had. That's kind of handy. Got some panels. Let's just grab all of the stuff except for those. And we're going to need some... Okay, so let's grab a stack of that. Uh, let's grab a stack of wood and throw the rest back. I don't really need that pickaxe and I don't really need that one. I might keep the stone one on me for now. Uh, so, pistons, pistons, pistons. We need iron. So let's, because we're going to need a few of these, let's make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, we'll just go for a bunch. Uh, 1, 2, yeah, let's grab all 8 of those. We're going to need a couple of sticky pistons. So we have... some of that. So for sticky pistons. Now, this is going to be the fun bit. Where are we? Import bus. There's annihilation core, sticky and iron. Now I might want to make some more of these annihilation cores and formation cores. That's not what I wanted. Annihilation core. Right, so this is where we're going to start needing the logic processor, more Fluix dust, and some nether quartz. Oh, pure nether quartz crystal. Okay, so we can double our nether quartz by using the pure ones, because we get two seeds uh, from each thing. So we're also going to need some more logic processors, which means we're going to need some printed silicon and logic circuits. Wow, so there's a, a bunch of stuff we're going to need. So for now... Let's just have a quick look. When we do this, the Flux dust can be made from... No, only from proper Flux crystals. Okay, so we're going to need a couple of those. So let's get a couple of those. Go and check on these. They look like they're still taking a while. So let's... Well, actually, we can grab them. 24% and 27%. Not too bad. Throw them back in. So if that did roughly quarter from two of them, let's get another, say, that many in there, and we should be done. And we have two of these. So we have our annihilation core, meaning logic, fluix, and nether. And we have our export bus, which is the formation, which is 
normal quartz, flux, and logic. So we're going to need another logic processor. That's going to be a bit more interesting to do. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. We don't need that. We don't need that. So we're going to need the logic and the silicon press from here. Calculation, logic press, and silicon press. We're going to need some silicon, which I have already. We're going to need some gold. We're running out of space here. <laughs> so now we need to go for silicon and silicon press. And that'll give us the printed silicon. And now we need the logic and gold. And then from here, we do that one, that one, and redstone, I believe. That should give us another logic processor. Automating this is going to be quite a lot of fun, I think. Because it's quite a complicated process to follow now. Okay, so let's have two of those. One. So that gives us the annihilation core, which is that one. And now with the actual Certus for the other one. Cool, so now we've got plenty of those to make our export buses and import buses. So export, we need iron, formation, and pistons. So let's go for there, formation. Let's grab as many as we can make. And for this one, we need uh, Annihilation Sticky. Annihilation Sticky Pistons. Oh, I should have made an extra Sticky Piston. I might actually just do that. So one more Piston won't uh, hurt. And, oops. We need one more slime ball, sticky piston, oops, wrong thing, iron, and the last annihilation core. Awesome. So we've got three imports and three exports, and now we just need to worry about our extra cabling that we need. Well, what are you doing in here? Use my handy frost spell. Oh look, they're getting there. They're getting there. I might just throw another one of those in just to be sure. And now throw that stuff back in there. And eat some food. So with these pure crystals, we're going to end up making a bunch more cable, and that should really help. Uh, the export and import buses, we're going to need to put on the various things. So let's actually go and see how that works. So this is going to be an export bus. I think that would be how it works. Uh, we're also going to have to have an export bus on here. We're going to have to have an import bus on here. Oh, that's not good. So what we need is you can get a, a Yeta, Yeta wrench, Yeta wrench I think. If you shift left click, you can then say on the upside we want to be disabled and that'll that'll stop it from connecting, which is good. Uh, so those are our two buses for there. That can cable across to there. Now to make this cheaper, as I said, we could use these P2P tunnels because a tunnel is a single endpoint. But I need to, I think that's a bit of an advanced topic for me at the moment. I'm still trying to wrap my head around exactly which bits need to be connected. So for now, it's going to be a fairly long cable run down to here. Uh, not much I can do about that at this point. So we have export bus there, 
import bus there. And what have we got left? An import bus. So we do need another export bus to throw fuel in there, but for now, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. Yeah, that'll that'll do for now. I don't want to interrupt the water. All right, so that'll be enough to get down under there. Cool. I'll just grab that. So we are getting there. All hinges on making a bunch of this cable now. So what I might do is I think you guys get the idea of what this is going to be. Uh, I might just build a bunch of that cable off camera purely because this is going to take a while to get these last bits done. Uh, yeah, this is still going to need another few of those. I possibly used up too much power going to that. Uh, and then making all the cables is going to be a little bit tedious to get it all sorted out. So I might just cut this here and then I will come back in a second uh, once I've made a bunch of cable. See you in a bit. Okay, I am back and I've got the last of the cable that I need. I've hooked most of it up. Uh, just this last little bit here I thought I would do on camera. There and there. There we go. So now we have export import all our camera uh, all of our um, all of our buses are set so as you can see when I hover over it says two of eight channels that one's one of eight channels I wonder if I could put lower cables in there because it's only one channel anyway I'll deal with that next time so now that this is all hooked up what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the system on so all I've done before is on this piece of cable shift left click the north side I had set to disabled so all I need to do is make that in out and the power will start draining from here up into our system awesome so now we can see the four channels there one channel going down uh, two channels there Wow, they've really done a, a pretty cool job of this algorithm X I think is the guy that made this alright so now export bus Excellent. So I can do charcoal in there. The import bus is already importing, so that's fantastic. So all I need to do now is I need to grab some of this, uh, potentially some of this. So now what we can do is on the export bus, we will set this to export dark oak wood. And that's already looking to export. And that's because our input bus down here already has started importing. Already started importing that. Awesome. So now on the export side of things, we just need to make sure that we have dirt specified so that we don't run out of dirt. Uh, I don't have any dirt in the system at the moment, so and we'll need another channel for this furnace generator, which is out of power once again. Awesome. Okay, so what I might do with the furnace generator is I'm just going to... I'll throw that charcoal in there, that'll do. So... This is nearly automated, nearly automated. So one of the things that I'm going to need to do is on this export bus, we're going to need to, oh, I need to go up and grab some. So now we should have our system working. Excellent. So we've got some charcoal there. Uh, I'm going to be able to set that to export on the power generation side. Now, power is staying stable. Now, I'm guessing that's because it's night time and I still have that... I still have the, um, the solar generator outside. And because it is night time, that solar generator will be dumping all of its power back into the system. So, that's, that's helping me 
quite a bit at this point. We've got oh, we've got a few too many people on. I'll see if no, I won't bother seeing if one of them will sleep. Okay, so that's getting towards the end of what I need. Really, we're getting a lot of dark oak wood going in there. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of dirt to be in there. So let's let's just make sure we throw some dirt in there. Uh, throw the charcoal back in. So that'll make sure the dirt keeps set. We're going to have... Uh, here's some other random things that I've thrown in here over time. Uh, it's, only a, it's only a 1k a 1k drive because that's all I could manage to make. So, that's looking like it's almost a good place to wrap up the episode. The only thing that I possibly want to do is turn off the farm or turn off the probably turn off both the farm and the coke oven when they get to certain levels so we don't overflow. So underneath this export bus I will probably put a a level emitter although I have a feeling they're not called that anymore. So there's a redstone card an inverter card, fuzzy card, crafting card, capacity card. I think we need to look at this redstone card should be what we need because I don't think oh no, there is a level limiter so the level limiter is a calculation processor and a redstone torch so I think we need to add the redstone card to the bus in order to make it respond to redstone and then we need to add our level limiter pointing at it so that we can stop it so what that'll do is that'll stop the export bus from putting wood in there when we have a lot of charcoal so I'll probably set it to I don't know, something ridiculous, like a thousand charcoal. And then likewise, we're going to need to set something down here. Uh, underneath, I did have a, if you can just see at the back there, there is a farm control. I will put a level emitter pointing at the farm control, which will mean that whenever we end up with too much wood, it'll just stop the farm so that we don't overflow with wood. Uh, and there's enough channels for me to handle those extra two things on there on this cable. So as you can see at the top here, five of eight channels, which means I've got three spare. Uh, so i will end up using two of those. Uh, I may, yeah, I'll probably do that in the next episode actually, or at least go over it in the next episode to, to see how it actually worked. Uh, but for now, that's, that's pretty good. We're filling up on power here. This is still staying stocked. We've got our uh, ME controller fully powered. Uh, starting to be able to store stuff here. I'm, Of course I'm going to need some bigger storage cards and I'm going to need to sort something out there. Um, but for now this is working very very well. So that looks like a pretty good time to stop. So as always thank you very much for watching and I will see you next episode.